Hello and welcome to a special edition of the Monday Memo live on Facebook. We'll try to post this to our YouTube account as well. But there's a lot of things changing. The situation continues to be quite fluid with COVID-19 or the coronavirus. And we at St. John's are endeavoring to adapt and to react and be proactive in ways that keep us healthy and whole and connected as the body of Christ that is St. John's. First off, thank you for all your prayers and for those who are uh, seeking to assist others to live fully into this time, whether that's through writing a letter, whether that's being a prayerful presence in someone's life, uh, whether that's staying home so that you reduce the risk for yourself and for others as well. It seems odd, but it's a simple thing to do that we can uh, we can take care of ourselves by staying put. Um, kind of an introvert dream, I suppose, in some ways. But not to make light of anything, it is a difficult time. We are all uh, experiencing life in new and unique ways uh, with this particular incident. So we are hoping as a congregation to continue to respond well. Uh, there is a, a Facebook post out there right now that says that everything this week has been canceled and that is true. And we are preparing a more in-depth and longer length a document as well for the congregation, which gives some ideas of things we would like to do and things that we hope to do uh, to help uh, spread the word of God, as well as bring peace and comfort to those who are experiencing anxiety and fear and upsetness during this time. Um, I've been very proud of you. I've seen lots of uh, examples of ways that people are reaching out and caring for one another in this time, both prayerfully and practically and lots of other ways. If you have neighbors or friends that can't make it out to a grocery store and you need somebody to head in as a lead blocker, I've got you covered. I can clear out a grocery store pretty quick if I have to. Um, but no, in all seriousness, if you're able to provide a service or something for a neighbor, we ask that you do that uh, in the name of Jesus, that you reach out for them to provide assistance where you can, uh, to provide isolation where needed. Um, and to that end, we're going to be closed down here. Our offices will be open so you can contact us, but we're not really encouraging anybody to stop by. We're going to be busy at work figuring out ways that we can communicate with you, that we can spread the gospel, that we can bring up lefting messages of God's hope and and promises in Jesus Christ to you in all that we do. So we've got some really creative ideas already. Uh, we're looking forward to doing those. Uh, and tomorrow you will have a much larger uh, sense of where some of that lies. Just to give you a taste of that, just ahead of time a little bit, uh, looks like pretty much everything's gonna be on hold until at least Palm Sunday, probably afterwards. But at least this gives us some time for planning and some hope uh, and some practical ways that we can reach out to one another uh, as we deal with this. We're looking at creative ways to do possibly Holy Communion. Um, so uh, we're looking forward to that. And God is in fact good, which is something we rely on even in the midst of turmoil and struggle. So we give thanks uh, for that. Thanks, Jody. Good reminder as always. So in the days ahead, we ask that you continue to uh, if you can, pay attention. If you haven't liked our Facebook page yet, please do. Uh, if you haven't found our YouTube page yet, you can locate that as well. If you have folks who are not technologically adept in your life, uh, communicate the things that you have heard on Facebook or you've gotten in your email. Uh, if you have a way of writing a letter or giving a neighbor a phone call, just to make sure that they're up to speed and that they know that they're concerned and, and we love them and they're in our thoughts as well. Um, there'll be other opportunities for that in, in the days ahead as well. Um, so we'll be doing some streaming. We'll be offering devotions in different forms. We'll be doing uh, other ways on Facebook. We're working on setting up a Zoom account so that we can do some education and perhaps some small group ministries as well via Zoom. Just looking at all the good gifts that God has given us for this very unique time uh, in our existence. So we have a wonderful staff here at St. John's who are doing the best they can. Some of them are going to have to work away from here because there's some health concerns and we're taking that into account as well. And we are wishing God's blessings on all of us as we step back a little bit, as we look at what God is up to and we ask God's blessing on all of us. I invite you at this time to say a little prayer with me, won't you? Gracious God, in the midst of things that we do not understand, your grace is ever present for us. Calm our fears, open our hearts, strengthen our bodies and our minds so that we may be your love for those who are in our lives. Give us clarity of insight, hope, and enough for each day. 
because you have promised all these things to us in Jesus Christ. We boldly pray for them and ask that, that your loving grace surround all those who are in public service for doctors and nurses and first responders, for all those who stock our grocery store shelves and have to deal with toilet paper. We ask your blessing on them and all those who work and live in your grace each day. Bless us and keep us, the members of St. John, the Bloomington Normal Community, and your whole earth. We ask your blessings and wholeness in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless and keep you, and I hope to see you sometime soon. But until then, keep looking on Facebook, and God bless. <music>